Greg Powers, Director of Recruiting here at Dave Campbell's Texas Football, and I'm here to talk about TCU Horned Frogs recruiting on National Signing Day in the early signing period. And Sonny Dykes and his crew did an admirable job on the recruiting trail. They not only signed plenty of high school football talent, they've also been very active in the transfer portal. There's going to be a lot of new faces in Funky Town in 2024. And as far as high school football signings go, I have to take a look at some of the top-rated guys. And for me, you're going to talk about wide receiver Ja'Kyle Baker from Brownsboro. Um, this is a guy at six foot two, 180 pounds, who can stretch the field vertically. They've been looking to replace that Quentin Johnston fit in their offense, and they thought that they had that guy in Cordell Russell one year ago, uh, but Ja'Kyle Baker could actually be that type of player. He could be a guy who could come in and make a early contribution as he learns the TCU offense. There may be some adjustment period there as he's moving from a smaller school in Texas high school football to the bright lights of college football, but he's definitely a guy who is a tremendous four-star signing for that offense. But I'd be remiss if I didn't put number two rated four-star quarterback Hoss Haney at the top of any TCU signing list. This guy's signing is so important because they lost Chandler Morris out of that offense, and Haney is actually projected to be the type of guy, because of his dual threat capability, who can step in and play right away. I'm not projecting him to be the day one starter, but I think he has the skill set to potentially be the day one starter. He's led Alito to back-to-back state championship victories, and he is a phenomenal runner, a guy who started his career career out at wide receiver and then transitioned uh, into a full-time quarterback role, but kept that playmaking ability as he moved under center. Nate Palmer is a signing that shouldn't be overlooked. All Nate Palmer does is win football games. He started College Station, led them to the state championship game before he transferred to Decatur, where his father is a coach, and he put up a lot of remarkable numbers. Five foot 11, 190 pounds. He's a tremendous pass catcher out of the backfield and a guy who I think can really move the needle. That was three key offensive signings, but when I look to the defensive side of the ball, I have to mention my dude, Sterling Brooks at North Crowley. You remember his commitment because we broadcast it live here at DCTF, and he had one of the most money quotes of all time when he said, I'm the hardest pit in the litter, I run the yard, no chain, and that's the type of swagger he's going to be bringing to the defensive side of the ball up front in the trenches for the TCU Horned Frogs. In the transfer portal, they've been active. They got double-digit commitments already. There's a lot of names on that list to check out. I kind of like Remington Strickland, offensive lineman from Texas A&M, as a guy who can come in and be an instant impact type of player. That was a big get, I think, on the transfer portal trail. But they have a lot of names, so you can check all that out and more. TexasFootball.com and Dave Campbell's Texas Football.